Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Hennessy Mammoth 1000. This is an insane modified Ram T-Rex, obviously modified by Hennessy. Before we begin this video though, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Carl Malone Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Heber City for giving me some time with this Mammoth 1000. This particular one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions, just ask for Josh. And if you guys haven't seen my Jeep Wrangler video, they also happen to have a Hellcat Wrangler for sale, so like, yeah, they've just got a lot of crazy cars. You guys should give them a visit. Anyways, on a side note, if you wanna save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Now with the Mammoth 1000, it produces a thousand horsepower and then 969 pound feet of torque. You also get this cool plaque underneath, as you can see, that gives you your serial number and everything. And you guys might be wondering fuel economy. Well, just don't worry about that. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now this still has the normal TRX hood as you can see. So you've got the venting there in the center with the marker lights and then you got your 6.2L supercharged badge off to the side. And then you guys can see here with the headlights, you've got the daytime running lights, just like normally you got the Ram logo here that is hollow for extra airflow. Now something to note is the marker light here on the side is usually like somewhere around here, but this has obviously the bumper for the Mammoth 1000. So I think that it doesn't have a marker light anymore. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, but I don't see anything. And then you guys can see you've got the fog lights here and then notice the light bar there in the center. And then of course Mammoth as well. And then you can see you've got parking sensors built into this bumper. And putting it all together, this thing just looks so hardcore from the front end. I'm mean, gonna be completely honest, I have never been a fan of the Hennessy bumpers from photos and everything, but now that I've had a chance to see this in person, I actually understand it now. Like it looks a lot better in person. Now popping around the side here, you guys can see we've got 35s wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. You can see we've got the Hennessy logo. Now I do have to say, I don't understand this whole part of this package because the T-Rex is an off-road truck. So you think that they would stick with off-road wheels. Now don't get me wrong, these wheels look absolutely fantastic, but I think sticking with 18s would have been the way to go. Let me know your thoughts on that. And then you guys can see the Mammoth 1000 <laughs> logo, which yeah, that's how you know this truck means business. And then of course we've got the Hennessy logo here on the rear and then just like all T-Rexes you still have the Blackhawk shocks from Bill Stein. And then here's your full side view with the Hennessy T-Rex. You guys can see this thing just looks absolutely menacing. Now this is just a T-Rex thing but it's always cool to see you've got like the little fake venting there next to the light and the lights blacked out and then of course Mammoth 1000 and then got another Hennessy logo here and then we've got the aftermarket bumper here with this. Notice you got the parking sensors built in and then you guys can see with the exhaust tips. You guys will love the exhaust note a little bit later here in the video. But wrapping things up I guess I'll do like a little kind of walk around here. Let me know what you guys think about the style on this truck. Do you think this is a good looking T-Rex? I think it looks again a lot better in person than the pictures and videos that I've seen on it. Ooh. So this does add power side steps, as you can see. And then when it comes to the interior, it's actually just a normal T-Rex interior. So I'm not gonna focus on it too much in this video because you guys have seen that in several of my other videos. Um, but we do have Hennessy here on the headrest, which is pretty cool. You see T-Rex there and then notice the leather is all perfect. It's a really nice interior, by the way, with the T-Rex. It's the nicest truck interior I'd say out there, at least for a sports truck like this. So you got the normal T-Rex steering wheel and starter up. Ooh, that sound. Um, this particular one happens to have the Alpine sound system for those of you that are wondering. And then you guys can see Mammoth 1000 with the plaque and everything. That's so cool. <laughs> it's got that. Uh, and then you actually still have the regular T-Rex plaque here with the serial number in the center. Let's actually quickly see which camera system this one has. So it's got the 360 camera system. You got the heated seats, heated steering wheel. It doesn't look like this one has ventilated seats, interestingly enough. It's just how this T-Rex was specced out. And then you got the regular rear view mirror. This one does have a panoramic sunroof though which is a nice feature. And then of course, power sliding window, like most T-Rexes. So yeah, there's just a few Hennessy things added in. Other than that though, it's the regular T-Rex interior, which is not a problem because again, like I said, this has like the nicest truck interior that you can get. And uh, I guess that we'll cap things off with seeing what the fuel economy is. Cause this truck has 1500 miles. So that means it's been driven a little. That's actually not that bad. That's actually better than the Hellcat Wrangler. <laughs> That's better than I expected. 
Now when it comes to pricing, uh, this particular pricing just comes from uh, Google, so it might not be the most accurate, but anyways, apparently the Mammoth 1000 is almost $37,000 on top of a TRX, and then the Mammoth 900 is almost $26,000 again, on top of regular TRX. So this truck, let's say that you buy a TRX in today's market, which MSRP is usually around $100,000, you're gonna be like almost $140,000 for the Mammoth 1000, if that pricing's correct. Let's see how this thing drives. So we are initially setting off in the Mammoth 1000. And if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know that I owned a TRX, a regular one, for about two years. And so I, I think I could call myself a uh, TRX connoisseur. And so let's talk about how this truck drives. First off, when you're just like in normal mode, just driving it around, honestly, it feels like a regular TRX. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel any different. And I thought that these 20s, would create some harshness with the ride quality, right? Because you've got less sidewall in the tires. But to be frank, it doesn't really... Yeah, they, I mean, this feels pretty much just as comfortable as a regular T-Rex. So maybe I was a little bit too hard on the 20s, but still, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just a little bit cynical about, you know, 20s on off-road trucks. But at the same time, you know, the amount of people that take T-Rexes off-road, it's it's very minimal. I feel like I was one of the few people that actually took theirs off-road. Now, when it comes to like how this drives, yeah, it drives really well. It's it, All the stuff that I love about the T-Rex still applies to this. And the thing that's crazy is I thought that being a Hennessy would be like extremely like loud and rambunctious and all that, and it's not. It's actually like, sounds pretty much like stock in terms of the noise. Now this has the old version of the center gauge cluster, so you can change the drive mode like that. Actually interested to see while we're sitting here, performance pages. I wonder what the zero to 60 time has been clocked in with this one. Okay, so we are in the sport mode here. Let's see what the dashboard says. Oh, it's got all that stuff. I'll figure it out later. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can tell this thing wants to get up and move. Good thing the TRX is four wheel drive all the time. That's all I gotta say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut the front door. Wow. Okay. We're going to have to get another one of those because that is ridiculous. That is like beyond ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, this ain't no regular T-Rex. I can tell you that right now. Okay. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get on a different road. And <laughs> I'll get back to you guys in a minute. So I'm in the manual mode here. <laughs> the supercharger sounds so different in this compared to a regular TRX. <laughs> this thing's so crazy. It's it's hard to explain, but it's just a different It's like more of like a whistle with the supercharger. But like man, this thing just like this thing moves. Oh, we got it in launch control mode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is insanity. Man. This Hennessy guy. This Hennessy guy. Gosh, that gets you that gets your like heart going. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. So, um, do I really need to like come up with a conclusion for this truck? 1,000 horsepower in a Ram T-Rex. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that like this was even remotely something that should be a thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so a couple things before we cap things off. Zero to 60 timer. The last one that we just did here at like, I think we're at 7,000 feet elevation here. I can't remember. 4.3 seconds. The best zero to 60 time this particular truck's clocked in is a three and a half second zero to 60 for a truck that weighs like 6,000 pounds. Like that's insanity. That is literal insanity. And I guess uh, since we're getting up here, this is an automatic mode and just... <laughs> oh 
Oh man. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's crazy. I love this sound though. Like it's just, it's on a whole nother level just, and it's so aggressive with, <laughs> so fun. Um, so yeah, some of the things up here with this Hennessy TRX, this thing is just on a whole nother level. Um, is it necessary? Completely not. But is it awesome? Yes, it's it's so cool. This is hands down the, probably the, I think the coolest vehicle I've reviewed this year. I just, I don't know. I just like the, the whole fat, like the whole idea. Okay, if I bought one of these, I'd, I'd swap back to 18s because I like to off-road. The concept of being able to off-road with a 1,000 horsepower vehicle is just crazy. I know some people are gonna comment down below trophy trucks, but this is something that you can buy that has a warranty on it, right? Because Hennessy puts their own warranty on this. I just got passed by Honda Civic in my 1,000 horsepower T-Rex. Ow, my ego. Anyways, <laughs> um, like, it's just crazy. This has a warranty. You can daily drive this and it's, yeah, it's just crazy. Let me know what you guys think about the Hennessy TRX, but I think this is probably one of the just craziest vehicles ever because Hennessy took what was already a crazy pickup truck, a 700 horsepower off-road pickup truck, and they made it crazier. <laughs>